Hey everyone, in this episode of Toys, Bags, and we're going to be taking a look at this Ricochet Racer. This was made by Hasbro in 1974, and from what I can tell, Palatoy in the UK also made this toy. There are several different versions of this, but this is the version that I have, and uh, it's super dirty. I got this in a lot years ago, and I've been meaning to fix it, and I think this is the time to do it. So, first of all, there is a, a shotgun shell or a car that's stuck in the barrel. Uh, we've got a grip that's broken we have to fix. And it did come with a couple accessories like bullseyes and this holster that you can put on your belt. You can see here it holds three of the bullets or shotgun shells or race cars. I'm going to call them a whole bunch of different things throughout this video, but that's what they are. And I only have two of the cars, but it does hold three. In this video, we're going to explore this toy, give it a clean, fix the things that are necessary to make this thing work, and we'll play with it for a little bit. <music> see the colors here we've got a lot of stars and stripes very patriotic 70s patriotism in the United States were found on toys quite a bit you can see on the bottom here we've got the die cast bottom of this car it says Hasbro 1974 we've got a metal wheel in the front and two rubber wheels in the back Let's get this thing apart. There's a whack of screws holding this thing together and a couple rivets. So let's do that. Get this apart. You need to have a Robertson screwdriver. Here we go. Now we do have two rivets here. I'm gonna to have to drill those out and uh, we just need to find the appropriate drill bit to do that. You just wanna drill out just one side of the mushroom head of the rivet. You don't need to drill the whole thing out. I'm hoping that I can still utilize these rivets to keep it together on both the front and back. Although there are a lot of screws in this toy um, yeah, I'm sure it's going to hold it together really well. Okay. 
There we go. Should be able to pull this apart. Oh, there's there's grips here that I that had a screw in it and they come off. But there's something holding it together. I don't know what it is. Let's take these grips off. Maybe there's a screw that's hidden somewhere in the grip. It seems like what's holding it together. Nothing here on this side. Let's turn it around. Oh, yep. Here's the hidden screw that I didn't know was in there. So we'll pull that out and then we'll be able to take it apart very carefully. I'm sure there's some springs in here. There's a lot of spring action with the trigger and stuff. So with the springs, we want to make sure that they don't fly all over the place and get lost. I've done that before where I'm fixing toys and the spring gets... Uh, you know, pops out and flies across the room and I never found them again. So then I have to make my own springs or get replacements. So here's the inside. You can take a good look at that. I'm not sure what it is that's keeping this gun from working right now. I know that there was something lodged inside it but I couldn't get the trigger to quite work well. So let's see why maybe it's just uh, something was misaligned or something. Uh, we do have the bolt action here. It's got a spring in there. That's what springs forward and pushes the car out of the barrel. Here's a piece here. We've got the the barrel that has the car in there. And that was stuck in there. This is really dirty, so I'm sure some of the problem with it is that it's not working because of all the dirt and sand and dust and everything. So I want to clean all that out and get it so that everything moves really well. So now that it's all apart, I can explore it a little bit, but I, I really need to clean this first. So let's clean this and then we'll take a look at all the parts. Try to put it back together. The nice thing about doing a video is that if I need to see how uh, it goes back together, I can review my video and, uh, and help me through that process. So here's the toy. You can see all the parts. They're nice and clean. I think that that tab will continue to break because there's a lot of force that pulls on that shell casing. And uh, I'm not really, I don't really care about that myself. I just wanted to get it, put it together and make it work. Um, with the shooting part of it. I do have a piece here that needs to be glued into the grip. We we'll use a little glue to glue that together. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna do with it. Get it working, 
I'll line everything up and maybe I'll fix the shell casing pullback mechanism but uh, I just feel like I think that will probably continue breaking on and on and on no matter how well you try to fix it so I think I'll, I might just leave that alone so we're going to use some Gorilla Glue for this grip here we've got it glued in there now I want to let this sit for a couple hours because there's probably a lot of pressure on that uh, this has to be screwed back together so there's going to be a screw in there so let me just get a little clamp here we'll clamp it and let that sit for a couple hours uh, meanwhile um, let's see if we can get all this back together this is one of the last things that I need to put back together anyway to put back to, onto the, the toy so we'll let that sit and like I said we'll explore the toy and put this back together so we got here we've got the the safety and the gray piece that pretty much runs halfway down the gun and you can see we've got two springs I just put these in so you can see where they fit now down up here we have a piece that you put in and that goes just inside this red uh, in kind of the the barrel housing I guess the internal barrel housing that's what holds the car in place when you put it in in order for this to work you do have to use the shell casings so if you don't have the shell casings this isn't gonna work very well we can see that this piece you have to fit that into this little hole here and there's a very specific way to put this in I'm going to push the safety forward first and then that drops down like that now there is a spring here also that you have to use so we have to install the spring before we do that we'll put this in this piece is very specific also you have to put it in and then the round piece on the bottom goes underneath a tab that's what holds the bolt action back and holds that spring back so when you hit the trigger it pushes the bolt action forward and pushes out the car uh, here is the other spring all these springs are the exact same size it's just that this spring has a lot less tension on it so it's not as uh, bent as the other two springs but it still has lots of springy action to it so that's how you put that together then we're going to work up here near the barrel we have the sight too that's on the external part but you still have to install it first before you put the two halves of the gun together so that's how that goes in this piece is very important it's got uh, a hollow metal pin it fits in just like that and without this piece this is another safety piece that this gun works with if you don't push the safety back on the side and this piece here in the front if you don't push that back the gun will not fire I think they did that uh, so that kids couldn't point this at their friends and shoot them in the face with a die cast car so you actually have to put this gun on the ground and push the both safeties back before it fires I'm sure kids found a way to do it <laughs> all right so let's put these two halves back together being very careful to make sure that nothing is misaligned you got to put this uh, metal pin in the right spot click it together and we also have these two rivets that we drilled out but they still click into place so we'll click those into place and then we can screw it back together in total we have 10 screws first we're going to put eight screws in here's one here two three four five six seven and eight in the front we'll put those in first and then the last two screws holds the grip in and holds the stock handle in and by the way again we need a Robertson screwdriver now 
It's a Robertson screwdriver number zero, and that's what we're using here. These grips on the handle, there's a couple tabs you have to tab in, and uh, there, there's a, a specific shape to them, so you can't put one in on one side. They have to go in the right side, and then there's just that one screw that holds the grip together. Even though there's a screw underneath the grip that holds the gun together, this just gives a little bit more added support. There's a lot of tension happening in this. The spring in the bolt action is very tight. So here we go. You've got your shell casings you can put in the ammo belt holder. You need those. And they fit into the ammo belt like that. Let's try this out. Pull this back. Engage it. car in, cock it. Now, like I said, we have two safeties in order to be able to shoot this. So push this forward and then the safety on the front that you have to put on the ground and push that back like that and then you're ready to fire. Here we go. Now, like I said, that tab that's broken is supposed to pull that shell casing out. And it's really tight. But, like I said, that's broken. And I really think that that is not going to be able to be fixed. I think it'll just continue breaking. So I'm not going to bother with that. Let's try the other car. Make sure that it works. I'm sure if I was the age to have this toy back in the 70s, I would have loved it because I was, I really enjoyed, you know, race cars. And we had those, um, uh, I can't remember what they were. I had a Dukes of Hazzard one. It was like a watch that you could put your Dukes of Hazzard car in. It was a little plastic car. And you press the button, it would shoot off of your wrist. Also had key cars that did the kind of the same thing. You know, they shot the cars across the, the, the floor, and I had some of those in the early 80s when I was a kid. So I think this would have been a toy that I would have loved to have as a child. So thanks for watching this episode of Toys Back Zen. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments if you had this toy as a child. 
and have a great day. Bye. Bye.